Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about factors and determining whether a binomial is a factor of a polynomial. For example, let's say that you've been asked to determine if x minus 3 is a factor of x squared plus 2x minus 3. Well, in order to do this problem correctly, you have to understand what we mean when we're asking is it a factor. So here's another example that you might be more familiar with. What if I asked you if 3 was a factor of 243? Really what I'm asking is 3, does the number 3 go into 243 evenly? So to do that, to figure that out, you would take 243 and you would divide it by 3. And you would say, well, 3 goes into 24 8 times. 8 times 3 is 24. I subtract the 2, I drop the 2, so 0. I drop the 3 down. 3 goes into 3 once. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. And you would say, because there is no remainder, that means that, and by the way, this is the remainder, because there is no remainder, the remainder is 0, that means it is a factor. It goes into it cleanly. Okay? So that should be a clue as to what we're doing here. We want to know then with our problem, what we want to know with our problem is the remainder zero. And that's going to let us know. So there's a couple different ways that you can do this. I can use long division, synthetic division, or synthetic substitution. It doesn't matter which method you use. Let's go through synthetic division real quick, and then we'll do synthetic substitution on top of it. Synthetic division says that I take this negative 3 here, I flip the sign, I make it a positive 3. It says that I'm going to take the terms here, the coefficients, and I'm going to write them out over here as 1x squared, that's my x squared column, right? 1x squared, 2x's, and negative 3 for my constant. Now I'm going to write a line underneath. You drop the first term, 1. 3 times 1 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. And 15 minus 3 is 12. This, the last term, is always the remainder. And what I know, because it is not 0, in other words, and by it, I mean the 12, because that is not 0, x minus 3 is not a factor. That's what I know. Okay? I could also do synthetic substitution if I want to. I know that if I plug in to this equation, x squared plus 2x minus 3, if I plug in, then f of 3 the same number that I had here, up above, the same as I had up here. That would give me 3 squared plus 2 times 3 minus 3, which would give me 9 plus 6 minus 3, which is 12. That is the remainder, which also tells us it is not a factor. Now, you might be thinking then, out of these two methods, how can I figure it out? All you have to do, let's review, go back, take this number that you have here, flip the sign, and plug it into the equation. Whatever you get, if you get a zero, it is a factor. If you get a non-zero, it is not a factor. These two numbers should always match up. So now you should use synthetic substitution to solve your homework problems and determine whether the remainder is zero. That is to say, whether a binomial is a factor.